I went to do some shows in Ireland. Has anyone been to Ireland? Yes. <laughs> terrible place. Terrible. <laughs> Not even a country, really. Just a country-sized, medieval-themed frat party. <laughs> and I was rushing that week for the role of town Jew or kid we throw potatoes at or whatever bully thing they could come up with. Repeatedly, this happened to me. I would be walking along the street, and I wasn't walking along kind of trying to affect some kind of tough guy, American bravado, not that that's a look that's available to me. <laughs> but I would just be walking along, and so much this group of Irish guys would nudge each other as I walked by, point at me, and laugh in my face, and then lean in to whisper what I imagined was Gaelic for, look at the nerd Jew possible gay again. <laughs> And again, and again, that kind of thing happened to me. By the way, Irish alcoholism is not a cultural stereotype. It is a socially irresponsible understatement. <laughs> we need to talk more about what is happening in the streets of Ireland. Do you realize what is happening right now in the streets of Ireland? Street naps, street napping. <laughs> Just people prone on the ground, like, good night to you, or whatever. I don't mean dirty homeless people. I mean regular people like you or I, just good night. And then other people walking by, kind of river dancing on top of their lifeless bodies, trying to ignore the fact that they're tap dancing on somebody else's alcoholic rock bottom. I saw a, a man in the street, he was collapsed backwards on the sidewalk, backwards over an electrical transistor box, like asleep, just like he'd been walking along with a, that's a great place for a nap, good night. Like fully collapsed like a giraffe toy with a little button on the bottom that you press and it falls down. I got concerned, I went to a police officer, I said, there's a dead man over there. He laughed at me and hit me with his baton. I love when weird stuff happens, like I said, like I like, like I did a show one time, there was a, a table right here. It was two black girls and one white girl. But through some kind of miracle of science, the white girl had become like 50 or 60 times blacker than her two black friends. Have you ever met someone like that? Someone that's so fully committed to the I wanna be black game that you're just like, you know what? Get in there, you're black now. Congratulations, I dubbed the Sir Mix-a-Lot. You're on the team. <laughs> she was incredible. She was like, she was so many things at once. She was like, she was black. She was also uh, white trash. She was also like very hood, very ga gangster, like a blonde haired, blue eyed crip apparently. <laughs> Like, you know if you play role-playing games for a long time, you could become like an eighth-level powerful wizard? She was an eighth-level powerful wigger, right? She was incredible. Talk, she was like talking over me the whole time, but being cool and uncool at the same time. Like, being rude, but being friendly while being rude, saying nice things while interrupting me. Like, ooh, hell yeah. He cute. Yeah. Yeah. She grabbed her for some reason. Yeah. Cute. Cute. Look, cute. He a little nerdy, though. But he cute. He a little cute ass nerd. And yeah, like, yeah, I am a little cute ass nerd. But like, but don't interrupt my show to tell me about it. Come up to me after the show. Maybe Ivory and Ivory can live together in harmony. That's a possibility. But she wouldn't even let me get through jokes. I used to tell this joke about a 99 cent pregnancy test. All I did was say the, fr the concept, 99 cent pregnancy test. She jumped in. She's like, ooh, they work though. Who are you? Think about that. Think about what she said. She didn't say, it worked that one time I tried it. No, she said, they work. The whole product line works. I know, I've done the necessary research, I've removed placebo effect and sample population, and I have determined that all of them work. I asked her, I said, how could you even qualify a statement like that, they work? You must have bought 50 or 60 of these things, and every single one of them was probably positive. I was like, I bet you're pregnant right now. And her friend said, she is pregnant right now. <laughs> Nosebleed, spiritual awakening. I couldn't believe it. I didn't know what to say. I was just like, who are the fathers? <laughs> she was super cool about it though. She came up to me after the show. She gave me a big hug. And now I'm pregnant. <laughs>